Wherever you go whenever you travel there is always something to unravel freedom is an unconscious quest to stay away from the daily unrest it has about continuity of time on water separated from senseless slaughter of the shared spirit in our common skies obscured by silence, half-truth and lies crafting vicious geographies death does not knock or says please forsaking the cultural cloak in ashes emanating stringy smoke we take shelter in imaginary skin counting every loss as a rightful win in places heard but not seen before on the hills valleys and the seashore I walked quiet and I walked alone seeking meanings in the unknown shunning realities as I understood thinking thoughts carved in wood throwing my dream worlds in the air it wasn't t easy but I did dare to leave my home to reach a verse in the unreflective galloping universe sorrow stubbornly shadows us but we cannot know or guess its presence while it may be there forever ready to find a prayer from all madness and maladies from nations or natural calamities we have to be forever ready to die not knowing how where or why he found these verses that I do not own the words evolved and have grown into warmth of cuddled expressions from myriad travel trodden impressions of death as either an uninvited guest or something to be worn, a victory crest moving between destinations with or without clear intentions carrying homecoming and exile through every conscious mile collecting tears from the stars prayer calls floating from towers grief wrapped in resilience verses that seethe with incense lost worlds away from hours hopeful seas and desert showers the sudden silence of papal bells on days strung between earthly hells through unintended journeys to the city's mountains seas hundreds of forlorn islands Islands desolate people contested land sea have accumulated these words that remember and seize the ongoing irony and melancholy in our cumulative memory I have visited homes shared food listened to narrations lucid shrewd dreams waking up with stark smiles extracting images from my exiles you return to where I began but will I really be back again followed by smells and echoes pleading an escape from gritty blows these verses born from earth and water swept away tears and lost laughter dying roots and Falling leaves patches pasted on my dusty sleeves this much traveled aging coat as I felt remembered and wrote these songs that visited mocked implored and teased decided to stay on with me sorrows swelling in poetry having said that dear reader let me fade away disappear leave these words garnered for you from sorrows suffering some rue glowing eyes of the children historical hands rubbed in vain the darkened water trickling down of hate fear disdainful frown the spring recedes the sap clots the stifling summer routinely rots among bodies ideas and desires waves of water rising or raging fires souls desperately clinging scorching sinking still floating when the final path is paved still something has to be saved on the morning of the boxing day the earth shook the sea swept away on a deathly journey of no return sick or simply sleeping children lovers daughters brothers sisters professionals paupers and visitors before the bells after the muezzines call receding sea and its violent recall among the unwavering believers the day changed for all the years it was the hour of a fuming nature to leave its indelible signature on the death warrant that would once for all recant guarantee of lotus life water frozen in a sinister knife in another time and place death had fragmented face redrawing circles every day going round and round on its way men had drugged it guided it to mold it occasionally hide it they de kill and they de die to kill mindlessly abandoning any other willy am at a lost trying to tame the breeze unable to be with grains of salt on seas or discarded leaves on the fresh snow a little farther the riotous poppies growy am unable to understand the reason of the greater glory of God and man why the waves came a killing why men want others kneeling why it came without an invite why sword sought an endless plight same result different locations equipped or sudden insidious invocations see have returned to the start with a smoldering heart hoping to unwind but here I only find that the nights are lonely and the bustling bursting city with the ghosts on my rhyme from places that are lost in time I have to give away these images from the flooded and burning villages he have to spread them wide away from those who have cried to those who are in peaceful luxury away from nature s or men s fury to feel them and own them as if you've always known them from the safety of your land caressing the destiny in your hand the deaths in the distance are also about us in the sense they may creep up gradually memories amassing slowly to live with us in every plight like a distant simmering light that would neither let us sleep nor unabashedly weep